Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. So Friday we saw the release of this retail version of the Mystery Booster. So November 7th 2019 they had this convention edition uh, which is, is similar. The difference is with the convention edition in November of last year the 15th slot in the pack was taken up by a test card slot where it was facsimiles of the sort of handwritten cards that uh, Watsi would use for testing new magic cards. So in place of that for the retail edition, which has just come out on March 13th, that 15th slot is filled up with a possible 121 different um, foil cards. Now, the remaining 14 cards are pulled down from a card pool of 1,694 potential cards. And that card pool goes back to cards from, I believe, Mirage. Now, the other thing they've been able to do with this, um, and bear in mind that the point of this product, my understanding, is to emulate uh, a Chaos Draft. Um, now, to do a Chaos Draft, what you'd normally do is, you know, get a whole load of random magic packs from Magic's history, put them in a bag, and then people randomly pull out uh, packs and they use that for their draft. The There is a version of Chaos Draft on Magic the Gathering Online, which is like that, um, but what this does is gives you a similar effect at a lot cheaper price because, of course, if you're doing this in paper with some of the boosters from way back, that's going to get very expensive. These retail from around uh, between $6.99 to $7.99 so far from what I've seen in Canada. I don't know how that compares to US or the rest of the world. In terms of the those sort of 14 cards from the 1,694 card pool, um, because of modern pack seeding technology, I believe they're able to control the breakdown of, of effective slots from the 14 along the lines of, you know, you, you're able to have two commons uncommons from each colour, a multicoloured common uncommon, um, uh, a common or uncommon artifact land, the special slot and a rare mythic um, and then a pre M so rare mythic with M15 and then pre M15 card in its original frame. So I was going to get the grid out and then I thought no because of the weird frames that we might be getting it would be nice if we did this up close. So I'm going to try and zoom in on the card so we can see them better and sort of point out some of the differences where we've got a card in the its original frame how they've differentiated between that and say the original card. Um, so then they've done that through like a special symbol. So let's open these packs up um, and see what we can, we're going to pull. I've got four packs here. And what you'll notice is as well the the packs generally, so all the cards generally, if you notice, have original set symbols. The giveaway, the fact that it's this sort of chaos draft um, set, or this, you know, this particular set, the the mystery booster set, is this, um, the you know, the the flame symbol in the bottom corner down there. It looks like, apart from that. And we'll see as we go through this, another reason why I've got this up close. And I don't know how well this is coming out on camera. Um, we've got this, you know, the the card counts here. So we'll see. Okay. So next, so that was X or 8. Then we've got Lightwalker. Lightwalker has flying as long as it has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah, there we go. See BBD. I don't know how well that's coming out. Refocus. Snapping Drake from M19. Right of the Serpent 
from that's uh, Khan's block. Catacomb Crocodile, Arc Trail, from PCA, I think that's Plane Chase. Oh yeah, the other thing with this as well, some of this stuff is going to be from printings from Supplemental Product. So that looks like an uncommon there. Seismic Stomp. Woolly Loxodon, with morph on it. We've got a Death Hood Cobra. Is that Modern Masters 2013? Printing. Gwilin Hedge Mage. Gwilin Hedge Mage. Got a rose passage. This must be our land stroke artifacts lot from the Commander 17 project. Product. Oh, here we go. So here's one from Visions Fiashino Sandstalker. One and two reds for two. Fiashino Sandstalker is unaffected by summoning sickness. At the end of any turn, return Fiashino Sandstalker to owner's hand. So it has that special set symbol down there, but there's no mention of the of the set um, because back then they wouldn't have been using these um, set indicators in the bottom right, right corner. So the only indicator is through the the set symbol here, and then in our rare slot, this must be we've got Deadly Tempest, which is four and two black sorcery. Destroy all creatures. Each player loses life to the equal to the number of creatures he or she controlled that were destroyed this way. Oh, this is, I'm pleased about this. So this is a foil Yortillum Nephilim. So white, blue, black, red for a 2-2 creature Nephilim. And whenever Yortillum Nephilim attacks, return target creature card from your graveyard to play tapped and attacking. So at the time before the um, the more recent Commander products, where we had those four color decks, these were the only four color creatures in Magic. This cycle of uh, Nephilims. I'm just checking there. It's cool. Okay, Artful Maneuver with the rebound on it. Cast out. Displace. And so we've got a Blue M Elemental Blast from the uh, Magic 25 printing. Reaper of Night. More recent card, relatively speaking. Vampire Lacerator, also um, that would have been originally from I think Zendikar block, but this is the Magic 25 reprint. Madcap Skills. So we'll make sure this is nice and clear on camera. Krenko's Command. So we've got an Ancestral Mask from Eternal Masters. Crossroads Consecrator. In our 
multicolored slot we have treacherous terrain in our land artifacts slot we have Mishra's factory from another one from magic 25 okay so our old card slot <coughs> we have a, an Urza's block rare here energy field one and a blue enchantment Prevent all damage dealt to you from sources you do not control. When a card is put into your graveyard, sacrifice energy field. Well, that it's so it's interesting <clears throat> to see it like pack fresh. You know, it's the I don't know how well you see it, but the colours really pop. <clears throat> yeah, I wish actually. I mean, I don't know how well it would sell. I mean, assume it would sell very well. But you know, you do wish that they would just reprint. Um, you know, they wouldn't have to go. I mean, you know, even if they just reprinted stuff from um, Mirage onwards, um, with you know, obviously with the set symbol to differentiate between uh, these and the earlier cards, that just would they would just look fantastic. Phyrexian Arena, so that's our rare, that's coming from one of the Conspiracy sets, kind of the con second Conspiracy set. Uh, one and two black enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep, you draw one life and you lose one life. Noggle Bandit. is our foil it doesn't look it's one of those cards which may not look particularly foily for whatever reason um, you know with with some of this stuff you get it really stop pops on some cards but on others not so much <laughs> I'm really enjoying this actually this is uh, it this is the sort of set where it would be very tempting to buy a whole booster box but I don't think I'm going to do that but yeah, that would, uh, with, with such a large card pool as well, um, you could, you could build a pretty cool cube if you just bought a booster. Um, because with that larger pool, apart from the, um, foil slot, you get pretty big variants and hopefully you wouldn't get a lot of, uh, you know, too many uh, repeat cards. So we've got Divine Favour, Forsake the Worldly, Cancel is in here. I mean admittedly there's a lot of set from, you know, a lot of cards from sort of M15 onwards by the looks of things, but even so it's an interesting look back. Argor of Bolis. Bolis. Ali Strangler, which has menace on it. Spreading Rot. Azra Blade Seeker. Of course, the other alternative is just to cost out, get a list of all these cards and just cost it out um, to buy them as singles. Cosmotronic Wave. Rampant Growth. I think what they've done here is there may be a few of these that have come from printings from dual decks. Maybe. Hunt the Weak. Got Ethereal Ambush in our multicolored slot. Which has manifest on it from Fate Reforged. Okay, so this time around we do actually have an artifact in our land artifact slot. We've got a Juggernaut. Juggernaut attacks each combat if able. Juggernaut cannot be blocked by walls, and it's a 5 3. So that was, yeah, that's a reprint from Battle Bond, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this is cool. So our 
sort of you know old old style border slot is a card from oh this is I'm trying to remember now this is from the block where it was all sort of future sites um, era uh, where they were playing around with different completely different card frames yeah I think this yeah this would be this would be the future site uh, set okay so I think that's two colorless I always have fun reading the manner on this yeah two colorless the manner symbols up here artifact fortification fortified land is indestructible so this is yeah Duxil garrison fortified land is indestructible whenever fortified land becomes tapped target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn fortify for three three attached to target land you control fortify only as a sorcery this card comes into play attached and stays in play if the land and stays in play if the land leaves play so sounds like it's sort of equipment for for land okay then our rare is mirren crusader and we're in a rare slot one and two white Creature Human Knights, 2-2 two, two with double strike, protection from black and from green. And then, oh, here we go. A Balefire Legion foil, 2 red, white, red, white, red, white hybrid. It's a creature spirit horror. horror. Other red creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever you play a red spell, Balefire Legion deals three damage to target creature. So there were a cycle of these spread across sets um, back when when there was the original couple of two set blocks, um, sort of that even tide, um, you know, morning tide, even tide era. Um, so yeah, I do like this cycle. It's a great two color commander card for red white. Okay, and our last pack, Esben Faulkner, without last. Path of Peace. Magic 25. So from what I remember with the Magic 25 cards, they put the set symbol of the where the card was originally printed in, in the center of here, just like this one. That's what they did. Condescend. Steady progress, Let's proliferate. So I've seen lots of cards from the sort of Masters edition printings and those other, you know, Eternal Masters and Magic 25 and Iconic Masters. That was the one I was trying to think of, which was the previous card was from. from Condescend was from that, I think. Yeah. Dowsing Gloom. A costly plunder, thrill of possibility, defiant ogre, undo giant, another one from plane chase, scatter the seeds. Giant baiting, which is in our multicolored slot. So Modern Masters three printing. Now we have a torn one's crypt. So zero to cast artifact, tap, sacrifice torn one's crypt, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. That's the Commander fourteen um, copy. And in our sort of old school slot, if you like, we have Gitu Warcry. It's uncommon, two and a red. Enchant, yeah, red target creature gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. In our rare slot, we have two-headed giant. It's 
is a Dominaria card. Two and two red, four, four. Creature or giant warrior, whenever two headed giant attacks, flip two coins. If both coins come up heads, two headed giant gains double strike until end of turn. If both coins come up heads, two headed giant gains menace until end of turn. And it's a four, four. And then our foil is wear and tear. Let's get this around the right way. For, for reading it anyway. Uh, wear, one, uh, one and a red tear, single white. Uh, wear is an instant destroy target artifact. And tear is an instant destroy target enchantment. There's fuse on it. So you may cast one or both halves of this card from your hand. So there we have it. Well, that's a pretty interesting product to look at. Um, Let's go back to the uh, the second pack with the the Yortilla Nephilim. It's pretty interesting, but yeah, some interesting pulls there. Um, I've got I've not looked at the prices at all online for these, so I don't know you know like how what the expected value is on any of this. But uh, yeah, it's interesting nonetheless. Hope you've enjoyed that, um, and uh, hope you get you know if you open the product, hope you get some interesting pulls. Uh, in, in your packs. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.